Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be showing you all 99 of my horses. It's not gonna take too long because we're, we only have one acre, so they're pretty close together, but we should be able to get through it pretty quick. You know, some people would say that 99 horses is, is too many, but over the last few years when I've become a horse psychic, I've realized that horses don't actually need space. And yeah, you know, it's challenging from time to time time but we make it work the neighbors sometimes supplement us with their grass clippings and whatnot and honestly i think my facility is better than most i think we need to establish a very clear line in the sand between responsible ownership of horses and just being a horse hoarder. A common theme that you'll see on YouTube is meet all of my horses. And this is not even exclusive to horses. There's plenty of YouTubers that do this for all other types of animals as well, where they will say, meet all 50 of my pets or all 100 of my pets. And this has nothing to do with how wealthy an individual might be because there are extremely wealthy individuals that still own way too many animals. And for this video, we're going to be strictly focusing on horses because I've seen this so much in the equestrian world and pretty much nobody calls this out. I mean, just, just look at this. Meet all 37 of my horses. 37? You don't need 37 horses. Imagine if someone posted a video titled, meet all 37 of my dogs. Everyone would be in an uproar. Everyone in the comments would say that this person was hoarding animals. It doesn't matter how well cared for the animals are, they're always going to be lacking in some way. Animals need food, water, shelter, care, attention, and space. And if you're not providing your animal with even just one of those, your animal is lacking in some way. I'm really a firm believer that just because you can doesn't mean you should. Just because you can afford to have a certain number of horses or animals doesn't mean you should. We have seven acres. <laughs> I'm gonna die. 37 horses on seven acres. 37 freaking horses, dude. We have seven acres. When do we quit? We have seven acres. Guys, GoFundMe never fails. It never fails. Sometimes when we run low on funds, we just beg for money on the internet. I want to say a massive thank you to Animal Nutrition Calculator for sponsoring today's video. If you're unfamiliar, Animal Nutrition Calculator has the best nutrition calculators, which you should absolutely utilize before feeding any of your animals. They have nutrition calculators for dogs, cats, ranging all the way to horses and livestock. You guys can click my link down in the description below and get 25% off with code LINK25. Also, I wanted to mention I'm not riding my horses at all for the entire year of 2024. We're just doing trick training. January, I trained the spin. February, I trained the bow. And now in March, we're gonna be teaching the lay down. You guys can follow along and teach your own horses. You can follow me on Patreon or members to watch those videos. Again, that link is gonna be in the description. I live on a ranch in Southern California where we also have a riding academy. We have about 37 horses on the property and about 25 of them my family owns and I have five that are like personally my horses. Nobody needs five horses, okay? Let's pretend like the other 27 horses in her family don't exist for a second, which that is just the most outrageous thing I've ever heard. But no one person needs five horses. I'm sorry. Unless you actually have the time and the space and the money for five horses, you don't need five horses. You need to be spending time with them every day, taking care of them. I see way too many people buy horses just because they can afford it, and then they never spend any time with their horse, and their horse ends up with problems behaviorally or physically, etc., from the lack of exercise and care, which is a form of neglect. It doesn't matter if you're feeding your horse every single day. And I also see people who don't have the money for the horses that they have and oftentimes ask other people for money to support their horses. And I also see people who have horses, let's say they have the time and they have the money, but they don't have space. Five horses should honestly be on like 10 acres. I would say five acres at minimum. 
most horses should be on between one to four acres per horse and that depends on if you're going to supplement them with food and you should not have more horses than the acreage that you have available for them because horses need to have space how much do you want to bet you guys i guarantee you that this place has no pastures no turnout and every single one of these horses is in a 12 by 12 box stall first our first lucky contestant this is pete this is my mom's horse he's a turbo frisian he's a handsome boy he's a stallion come on did I call it? Because I called it. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. These horses don't even have runs. I was, I was honestly trying to give her the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what, maybe because there's not that much space in Southern California, maybe these horses will have runs. It's possible. Okay, so I don't want to hear anybody saying that Southern California, it's impossible to have tons of space because I boarded at a barn in Southern California for three years. And even though they didn't have pasture board, all of the horses there had stalls with large 35 foot runs off the back. And we also had like five different turnout pastures for the horses to go run and play every day. Ugh, let's hope to God that they at least have turnout. It really worries me when I see places like this because it's just overcrowding animals for profit. This is a riding facility and these horses live such a shit quality of life. Like this is literally a 12 by 12 box stall. And don't even get me started on the fact that this is a stallion, that this crossbred horse is a stallion. He's a turbo Frisian. He's a handsome boy. He's a stallion. Come on. I absolutely despise people who do irresponsible breeding. I'm sorry, there is no reason for your crossbred horse to be a stallion. Organizations do not want people crossbreeding horses because it contributes to overpopulation problems. It contributes to bad breed confirmations. It ruins certain breeds. God, these horses live in jail cells full time, jail cells. It doesn't matter that these horses are getting food and water every day, or even if they brush them every day, put them on the hot walker and ride them every day. It doesn't matter. These horses are not living a good quality of life. They have no space at all. And this is what happens when you buy too many animals for the space that you can provide them. This is horse hoarding. I don't care what anybody says. It doesn't matter that this looks pretty. It's hoarding. Hans is my mom's Frisian stallion. So little backstory about Hans. He's actually a world champion. My mom has trained Hans. She's done it all. So my mom actually won the world championship with Hans. I'll insert a little picture here for you guys. Incredible. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I swear. Another stallion. Why? There is no North American approved stallion in the breeding books for Fauna whose name is Hans. And immediately, if you breed that stallion, it doesn't matter if your stallion won a world championship for something. If the registry didn't approve it, your offspring from that stallion immediately goes into B book two, which means that the offspring is lesser quality and can't actually be registered with KFPS. And this is because they're trying to keep the breed consistent. They're trying to keep people from watering down the breed with bad breeding practices. Now, normally I wouldn't care about stuff like this, but it just really speaks more towards these people seeing horses more as a business. I say this time and time again, breeding should be left up to the professionals. And a lot of these facilities that have too many animals 
also participate in irresponsible breeding. And again, I'm not trying to pick on these people specifically. There are so many equestrians on YouTube that are like this, that give their horses such a bad quality of life and provide them with like no space at all. So this is a barn. We went on that side, then we went on this side. Then when you turn, we have a hot walker, there's B barn, there's our hay barn. We've got stalls that go all the way back. We have seven acres. <laughs> I'm gonna die. 37 horses on seven acres. That's the equivalent of having like a 5,000 square foot house and having 40 dogs. Could you imagine if you had 40 dogs inside your house? It doesn't matter if you brush them every day and clean up after them. People are still gonna call you crazy. I would never ever in my wildest dreams even imagine putting 37 horses on seven acres. So it goes all the way back to the end. Then to my right, we have a arena, we have another arena, then the covered arena, the dressage court. The horses here are essentially just a money-making opportunity. That's really what it is. If they cared about the horses, they wouldn't have five different arenas on the property. They would convert one of the arenas to a freaking turnout pin or something. I mean, guys, literally, the aerial view of this property, there's no pasture or even turnout available for these horses at all. <laughs> Scrolling through this video, literally none of the horses are on pasture, you guys. All of these horses are in small pens. Now again, I'm sure that this is a really nice girl. I'm sure that she loves her horses. I'm not negating any of that, okay? Hoarders love the stuff that they hoard. Hoarders don't think that they're doing anything wrong and they go into it with the best intentions. But at the end of the day, you're still a hoarder. You still have way too many animals than what you actually have the space for. Even if you had the time and the money for these animals, you don't have the space and that is so important. You cannot convince me that these horses are living a good quality of life. God, this is so stressful. This is so stressful. I, I can't even imagine owning this many animals. I don't even feel like I will ever have more than the two horses that I have. And even though my horses are super minimal, I don't even feel like I have the time for more than two horses. And I honestly don't believe that anybody else any one person truly honestly, if they're being completely honest with themselves, has the time, the money, and the space for more than just a handful of horses. 37 freaking horses, dude. When do we quit? There are actual cases of neglect that pop up every single year. Now, I'm not saying that this place is gonna end up neglecting their animals by no means. I'm just saying that every single year there are boarding facilities exposed for horse abuse and neglect because they have too many horses for what they can take care of or provide space for or have the financial means to care for. And eventually over time, all of that compounds and the facilities get worse and worse and worse, but yet they don't wanna get rid of any of their horses. The owners of these horses live all over the country, so many were not aware of the problems here. They were also surprised since rare shide was highly acclaimed in the horse community. I think it's important for equestrians to have conversations about responsibility horse ownership so that way we can really prevent people from getting themselves into worse and worse hoarding situations. I've seen people financially ruin themselves because they continuously buy more animals than what they can actually take care of. And I think people really need to take this away from the video. If you're not going to take away anything else, remember this. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Just because you can have 10 horses doesn't mean you should, doesn't mean you have the time, doesn't mean you have the money, doesn't mean you have the space. And even if you had one of those things or two of those things, you need all three for it to be reasonable. Horse hoarding needs to stop and people need to start being realistic about how many animals they can actually care for. You're too cute, oh my God. And so it's- No, it's all right. I just feel like 
Is ready. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put the third a little bit. 